What's good, YT? It's your boy T, aka 242's A1 Shooter, aka the Plug of YT, bringing you guys a new video today. And today's video will be on dribbling secrets that no one, nobody, no YouTuber wants to tell you. you may see one um, couple moves that you know, but guaranteed by the end of this video, you're gonna learn something new. And if you learn something new, comment down below what you learned new and what move that impressed you the most and what move you're going to incorporate into your arsenal. Now, let me show you guys the signature styles that you will need to perform these dribbling secrets. All right, guys, you see the signature styles that you will need Elite 2. I'm not gonna go through all of them, so just put it on real quickly. These will change throughout the video, and I'll tell you when it's gonna change. Now, let's get into the settings that you need. <laughs> guys, for the settings, you're gonna need a pro stick orientation on Absolute. Put that on really quickly. It just helps you dribble. It just helps you win dribbling, okay? Just put that on. And thank you guys so much for 3K subscribers. I can't believe we hit 3K, we on the grind. I think we're hitting like a thousand subscribers every time. God for that, bro. TGT, JSXCOG. We still on that grind for 10K, bro. We all, we always on the ground. We never sleep. Let's go. All right, guys. The first move we're gonna go over is the Kobe between the legs spam. I'm sure you've seen listen a lot of hoop mixtape from people who claim to be dribble goats. I mean, I don't really, I don't really consider myself a dribble goat, bro. I'm just a person that knows how to dribble a little bit because there's definitely some things I could learn from other people and probably what they can learn from me. You never know. And this is how you do it. You know how you do the Kobe escape speed boost? You know how you do that? You want to flick the right stick diagonally down left and down so it look like this. You just want to practice doing that. And if, it's in, and if the ball is in your left hand, you want to flick it diagonally down right and down. Flick the right stick down, right? So it look like this. And when you get a little bit used, um, used to it, accustomed to it, just start spamming it, alright? You can just start spamming it. This move is very effective because if you keep doing this, if you do this like three times, if you do this like three times, your defender is going to be like, oh, yo, what is he doing? What is he doing? And then on the last move, you can do like a speed boost and go. That's easy bucket, all right? That's an easy bucket. All right, guys, the next move we're going to go over is the going up court. When you see people do it really fast between their legs when they're going up court in either threes or when they're coming up the court in twos. Now, what you want to do is, this is a very simple move to do. All you have to do is flick the right stick that between your legs that's all you really have to do while going up court just flick the right stick between your legs all right all right guys the next move you're gonna have to put on a lead three for basic size ups and for crossover size up combos you have to put on Carmelo Anthony all right let's get into move now this is a move similar to what Swante did a couple months ago before patch six I think and this is how you to do this move if the ball is in your left hand flick the right stick right and then left again really fast and if the ball is in right hand flick it left and then right really fast right guys then you lose Now to do the momentum behind the back, it's a very hard to explain because, bro, this is something that you just have to come up with your own way to know how to do. Now you do this move by to do this move, you have the momentum, and when you momentum, you wanna take your finger off of the turbo button, which is R2 or and RB on Xbox One, and then flick the right stick down. Just tap it down, and then you wanna hold it again and go in the opposite direction. If I wanna do this move going to the right, I'm going to. Do momentum to the left, let go of the turbo button, flick tap the right stick down, and then run in that direction with the turbo button, all right? So it looked like this. I can spam this move in any direction, guys. The control is going to be on the screen just in case you don't, don't fully understand the move. And this is a body catcher, bro. I can't tell you how much angles I have taken from this. And it's very fast. It's like a speed boost. So if you're getting clamped up and you have no nothing else to do, no more other moves in your arsenal and the speed boost isn't working, I would recommend just doing that move. And it gets you open every time for the green light. As I said again, you want to moment. If you're going, if you want to do this move to the left, you're going to momentum to the right. Take your finger off the turbo button. Flick the right stick down and then run it in the left direction. So it would look like this. The next move we'll go over is the Kemba Walker turnaround glitch. Now I've shown this glitch on many dribbling tutorial videos, but I don't think I don't see a lot of people use it like with how saucy this move is, bro. SK all day. People don't understand how good this move is. Now to do this move, you have the whole R2 on PS4 and RB on Xbox One and flick the right stick up. You know you know you have done it right when he jumps. When he does like the this one, that's not right. You wanna do the wanna jump? 
and then flick it up one more time while holding turbo and burst off in the direction the ball is in you want to, as soon as you finish flicking it up you want to run in that direction because that's how you get the most speed all right if you wait you're not gonna burst off as fast for the next move you're gonna have to put for your between the legs size up combos Lance Stevenson the next move we'll go over is the Lance Stevenson this move deserves its own video bro like for real for real you know like how they patch crossover 16 and crossover 18 well this move allows you to do a mini crossover 18 bro I'm not even kidding if the ball is in my right hand I'm gonna flick it diagonally down left and then flick it right and now I'm gonna do that move and that's pretty deadly and you can break out of this move at any time bro you see I'm just spamming it right here I can spam this without even trying bro I love this move so much I've used this move every game since I've learned it because I use this with every combo every one of my combos that I do I use this move the next move we'll go over is the Jamal Crawford combo now this is a behind the back that you could break out of I don't think a lot of people know that they can break out of this Jamal Crawford that's why I don't see a lot of people use it you do the Jamal Crawford first of all by tapping the right sneak down twice without holding turbo now what you want to do as soon as you tap it twice to do Jamal Crawford what you want to do is hop step and then momentum behind and then do the momentum behind the back so it look like this you see how deadly that move is people think you're gonna do Jamal Crawford but when you just suddenly stop and then momentum behind the back you're guaranteed to take some ankles because if you don't take ankles off the Jamal Crawford, the initial Jamal Crawford, your fact's gonna take ankles from the be momentum behind, either the momentum or the behind the back move. That's why I love that move so much. The next move we're gonna be looking at, you're gonna have to put on for your ISO hesitations, Elite 2. Now, to do this move, this is just like normal, three, normal 1 hesitation, but I think it's a lot faster. When I put this on in park, I don't know what it is. But I'm so much faster with my one when I'm in park. I don't know what it is. When I step back, I either take angles and that speed boost for an easy bucket. Or when I, when I take angles, I just pull. You do this move just like the normal one move. Just flick it back when you're running or walking. Just flick it back while running. Flick the right stick back while running, right? Because you can combo this with the momentum. This move is ideal with the momentum because it's so fast and it doesn't carry back as much so when you do that momentum and do the behind the back your defender wouldn't know what to do in my opinion i think this takes more ankles than normal one anyway although normal one takes a lot of bodies just in my case this is taking more ankles for me putting a lot of people on the floor just doing the move all right next move we'll go over is the mom fast momentum i know you guys know this momentum where it doesn't even get you no space it may take angles but it doesn't get you any space at all all you have to do is flick the right stick to your off ball hand and then wait like a half a second more than the momentum and then you'll be able to do it like i can't even do the regular momentum no more that's how accustomed i am to doing this momentum and you can notice that i'm not doing the between the legs because the between the legs get you like a glitchy move it looks like it's going between your legs, but it suddenly just stopped. For the next move, I need you guys to put your hop jumper on normal 14. Guys, double dribbling is back in the game. I learned this move from Ty Go Crazy, Tay Go Crazy. Um, he did a he did a video on this a couple months ago. He didn't really say what normal jumper to put on, but I figured it out anyway. So shout out to Ty Go Crazy, bro. This is how I learned how to do this move now it's not really a double dribble but it looks like a double dribble right now i think you can only do this on one side of the court because when i do it on the left on the left side of the court it doesn't do it doesn't do the move all right now what you want to do is go on the right side of the court and when you're going here this move is very effective when, when you're going up on the right side of the court do a hop step back see the double dribble you saw the animation it gives you it looks like a double dribble move i promise you bro that works so much and it's so fast that the defender won't even know what hit him, bro. Now, for the next move, you can put on any hesitation, but I recommend you guys putting on normal one hesitation, all right? Let's get into the move. All right, guys, to do this move, the next move right here is the normal one hesitation shot glitch. Now, I saw Hank the Tank do a video on this, but I asked Kyrie did a video on it in NBA 2K16 on how to do this move, and let me show you how to do it. That step back, you want to flick the left stick, the left analog stick, towards the rim. And that is a green light machine, like... I don't think I'm missed when I do that. Now, I know you guys know this move. A lot of hard shooters do this move, and it's kind of annoying, bro. It's a left-right cheese. All you really have to do is, all you have to do is go left and right really fast, really quickly. And you don't you lose any energy when you do this move. This is the 
This is a cheesy move, bro. You don't even lose energy when you do this move. So you can literally do this all day while the defender doesn't know what to do. Your friend will be like, yo, what is this nigga doing, bro? So once you do this move, I like this move because when I do this move, all I have to do is hop step out of it and speed boost off. Watch this. And then run off. It's an easy layup. All right, guys, the next move we'll go over is the behind the back move. Now, 2K nerf this a ton. Like, it doesn't even, it's a very good move because it catches a lot of ankles, bro. It still catches a lot of ankles, and it's a pretty fast move to speed boost off of it. Any archetype can do this, and they can speed boost off of it, all right? Now, what you want to do, when you're running right, you want to flick the right stick left and then wait until, but when your player's in, like, about to switch positions, you want to take take your fingers off all the buttons and when he's about to run off again, that's when you want to run, run in the direction he's going in, right? For this move, you're going to want to put your hop jumper on normal too, all right? Let's get into the move. Now, what you want to do, this is a hop step spin move cheese. So, what you want to do is do normal one. Do a spin move as soon as you do the normal one, hop step, and then spin after that. But you want to make sure that you're not near your opponent's legs because if this hits the back of your opponent's heel or his leg, it's it's going to be a turnover, all right? And you don't want to just... All right, for the next move right here, you're going to have to, when you're running, just tap the square button down, all right? You just have to tap the square button down. That's all you have to do. Nothing fancy. Just tap the square button down when you're running. And, I'm, and my hop jumper is normal too. This is the fastest speed boost in the game. I've said this on countless occasions. You probably may know how to do this, but I have this on one of my old videos and I don't see people do this move either. So all you have to do is run. You don't even have to take your finger off the left analog stick. Just run, tap square, and then keep on running. For this move, you're gonna wanna put on the Chris Paul crossover size of combos, all right? Let's get into the move. Move like to do a Chris Paul size up is just like the Carmelo Anthony side. So if the ball's in my left hand, I'm gonna flick the right stick right and then left really fast. And if it's in my right hand, I'm gonna flick it left and then right really fast. Now when you do this, you wanna hop step after it. So do this move. It's like a teleport glitch. This is all you have to do. This is a very effective move. It catches a lot of people off guard, momentum off of it, and then speed boost and an easy shot. Alright? So, as I said. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe if you are new. And if you don't have a YouTube account, make a YouTube account and subscribe to the channel, bro. Share the videos so all your friends can know all the dribbling secrets that no YouTuber or anyone else wants to tell you guys. That's why they're keeping the moves on wraps. But I'm going to release all of the info and show you guys every move that YouTubers don't want to show you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 4K, you too. We'll game later. TGTGSHDOG. Two, four, two! We'll game later. Yeah.